Well, some of the first videos of Mac Jones practicing for the Patriots are coming out right now, so I just wanted to add some commentary to that. Uh, we're hearing reports that some people are claiming he's kind of small looking, uh, particularly mostly shorter. I really disagree. I, I know that he's not a six foot four, six foot five quarterback we're taking a look at here. Uh, he's not some massive Ben Roethlisberger or Cam Newton, just to name a few examples. Uh, but he is going to be sufficient, okay? His size is not going to be an issue. If anything, it would be something else uh, that is his problem. Not, I, I don't think height is going to be an issue for him at all. And you'll see throughout this clip that he doesn't really seem super short. And this is the same practice that people were watching, or at least one person was watching when they said this. I forgot the name of the person who... <laughs> Uh, we got guys like Russell Wilson that is just lighting up the league. He has been ever since he entered in his rookie year. I believe he played in his rookie year and just lit it up from, from the gates like right away. I think that was like 2012. And he's 5'11". He hasn't had any issues, obviously, with height. Uh, and then we got guys like Drew Brees as well that are exactly six foot. These people are multiple inches shorter than Mac Jones. So that's kind of my evidence that this is just not really going to be an issue. I love this picture, by the way, him next to Tom Brady. Tom Brady is literally towering over Drew Brees, and, and Tom Brady is listed at 6'4". Uh, what a beautiful photo of the families there. That is awesome. Uh, but, yeah, I really don't feel like that's going to be an issue. So let's just talk about the positive. I wanted to get that out of the way uh, as we're watching this clip here. Um, first off, uh, we've heard really great things as well. I, I wanted to mention uh, a tweet that I saw here. Uh, this is just Kendrick Bourne uh, on Mac Jones. Good energy, awesome guy. You can tell he's happy to be here. You can feel his leadership and energy already. He has a swag to him that I didn't really know he had. Uh, and this is just an example of kind of that chemistry between the teammates. This is really good news, guys. I really like to hear this. Uh, that he's already uh, building chemistry there with some of the newer wide receivers coming in. This team is going to look a lot different, I think. A lot of these players that are new are, are building this chemistry, like I said. Uh, very, very interesting stuff. Here's another one that I saw. I found this one really interesting. It seems like this practice was a lot more of like an introduction practice where they were just kind of trying to see if guys have gotten a hold of uh, different looks and things like that. And Mac Jones was able to identify a Mike Blitz. Basically, a Mike Blitz is somebody other than a defensive lineman, so like a linebacker or a safety that is going to blitz on that play. He was able to identify the Mike and also tagged on a slide by the offensive line. So basically, uh, he slid the offensive line uh, to, uh, I think, the right side, uh, which is kind of a veteran move there, being able to move that line and just call an audible right there uh, and, and change up the play a little bit to better suit the Mike Blitz coming in. So I, I love to hear that, obviously. That is great, great, great news. The tweet continues on, um, and this is some more of what we heard. Then Jones and the receiver, Nelson Aguilar in this case, both identified what the defense was doing. A weak side blitz. They looked at each other, and Aguilar pointed. Then Jones said, I know, quote unquote. So what we're seeing there is, again, that connection with a different receiver this time, also a new receiver that's coming in. Apparently, Aguilar had a nice practice as well, by the way. Uh, but Jones said, I know. So he was able to identify a, the same thing that a, we saw a very veteran player there in Aguilar uh, noticing. So just, again, uh, the maturity there in this player uh, in Mac Jones, just being able to identify these things is really just great news. I love to hear that. The ball was snapped. Jones probably didn't even have the laces and then fired the ball on the slant into a wide open space. Uh, and apparently, from what I've heard, this actually ended up being a very long touchdown as well. I don't know if they were doing 11-on-11 uh, 11 11 practices here or what it was, but still, uh, regardless, it's just very awesome to hear. And to close things out, the, the tweet finishes by saying, uh, Jones saw what the defense was going to do, and the receiver made a slight adjustment, and the Patriots exploited it for big gain. So you can see the, the connection there. I don't know why uh, it says the Patriots when they were obviously both the Patriots. I think that's like a little bit of a typo there. So that is all just very, very exciting stuff. I've also heard reports that Mac Jones had the best arm out of all of the quarterbacks that played. Again, there's four uh, this year. So Cam Newton, Mac Jones, Jarrett Stidham, and then also Brian Hoyer, who we just brought in as well. So that even adds a little bit more fire to that competition there. Obviously, uh, it's extremely overwhelmingly likely that it's going to be uh, Cam Newton and Mac Jones at the top, and then Jarrett Stidham or Brian Hoyer as the third. There is the possibility that we keep four on. I don't know why they would do that, though. 
Um, so it might be a competition between Jarrett Stidham and then Brian Hoyer, who gets to get that third roster spot, and then also between Mac Jones and Cam Newton for who gets the starting uh, position. It's overwhelmingly likely that Cam Newton gets that spot uh, just to begin the season, uh, but there is that possibility that Mac Jones absolutely lights it up, and it's just you know too tempting to start him to, to start the season, and they might actually end up doing that if things went absolutely perfect, but that's not seeming super likely just based on uh, what's historically – usually happened throughout the NFL uh, with rookie quarterbacks there. So a lot of good things to say. This was the first practice. I have a video coming up talking about the whole Julio Jones situation. Obviously, if we get Julio Jones, that's going to be absolutely incredible, and I will be jumping for joy. Uh, but I have a lot to say about that, and we're probably going to find out where he, Julio Jones is going to go on June 1st, so I have to make that video very soon. So you guys will be hearing more from me coming up very, very soon. I've been really busy lately. It's been really weird for me. Uh, but I'm trying to bring more content, and certainly once the preseason starts, the regular season, I'm going to be trying to bring weekly content at least, if not more, to talk about those games, bring highlights for those games, things like that. So there's a lot to look forward to. Be sure to hit the like button to help me out. Uh, I'm starting this channel out, obviously, this year. Well, okay, I started a long time ago. I'm really trying to get it going this year. Uh, leave a comment down below what you think. Also, some video ideas would be awesome. Uh, and be sure to subscribe if you're a Patriots fan and you want more content like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.